Okay. Hi, everyone. I see there's three people online. Um, I'm going to give it another minute or two and let more people jump in, and then we'll get started. Now we're up to seven. Hi, everyone that just joined. Uh, we're going to start in about one more minute. I see people still coming in the room. Alrighty, I'll go ahead and get started and we'll let uh, leave the room open for more people to join as they need to. So good afternoon, everyone. I want to thank you and welcome you to our webinar to discuss our programs and potential careers around digital skills. My name is Andy Drotis, and I'm the Director of Professional and Public Programs here at the University of San Diego. Um, and when you hear digital skills, a lot of different things uh, may come to mind. So it's our goal in this webinar that we help clear up any questions you may have around these skills, as well as within the industry as a whole. When I came on board at USD a couple years ago, I reviewed the existing portfolio and realized we were missing a really important aspect within our offerings, and that is digital skills. So when you look at Bureau of Labor Statistics data about around growth trends in these areas, as well as salaries for these skills, it was really easy to see why it was so important for me to partner with industry experts such as Pathstream in order to launch these certificates. For me, what set Pastream apart from the competitors is that they've partnered with tech companies to create certificates to help prepare students for these jobs. So the four areas that we're going to be talking about today in today's webinar is digital Facebook, or I'm sorry, digital marketing from Facebook, Salesforce Administrator, Asana Project Management, and Immersive Design by Unity. So when you signed up for this webinar, you may have noticed the title Digital Skills to Level Up Your Career. And you might be asking, what does that exactly mean? Well, to me, leveling up is either improving your current situation, gaining new skills, even if you're already in technology, or going to a higher or the next level within your career. Digital skills are just so important today because they underpin so much of how modern uh, work is conducted. It's just part of the new workplace. So we're hoping that we can uh, get through a lot of the questions you may have about digital skills and the industry in these in these um, programs. So what we're going to do today is a quick introduction of our speakers and our presenters, uh, an overview of what Pathstream is, uh, looking at in depth uh, to each of those four areas that we talked about, a uh, little test drive on a platform demo, and then any questions that you may have, um, you're welcome to use the chat feature and we will go through and the presenters will Keep an eye on that, So, if it's something that they can answer then, they'll be able to do that during the presentation. Otherwise, um, we'll save it for the end and we'll get all the questions answered at that time. Um, so I just did my introduction and I will pass it on now to Lauren. Great, thank you so much for having us. Um, so my name is Lauren Pizer uh, and I work um, at Pastream, so leading the learning design team and all the various learning designers um, and managers that are on this call today with you. Um, but we have lots of great people on this call that represent each of the four certificates that we're going to be discussing. So Angela is here to talk about our Salesforce administrator um, program. Naomi is here to talk about our Asana project management certificate. Nina is here to talk about the Facebook digital marketing certificate. And Shane is here to speak about the Unity Certificate, um, and they'll all be introducing themselves a little bit more when we get to their part of the presentation. Um, but I am going to dive right in and talk a little bit about Pathstream and this relationship that we have with USD. So USD has partnered with us at Pathstream to provide students with online certificates 
that teach these digital skills that we've talked about across a variety of growing industries. And the way that we do this is by partnering with tech companies like Salesforce or Asana or Facebook um, to create online programs that teach digital skills around how to use, for example, Facebook Ads Manager um, to become you know, in your digital marketing role or how to use Asana as a project manager. And so this is incredibly important today because more and more jobs are requiring people to have all these types of digital skills. Uh, and these kinds of jobs often pay more and they can lead to greater and faster career advancement. So today we're really going to be talking about four certificates that are offered by USD that you might be interested in enrolling. Um, and these programs are starting at the end of January. So this is a really great time to be thinking about some of the programs that you might be interested in enrolling in over the next few weeks. So first, let's talk a little bit about the Salesforce Administrator Career Certificate, and we're going to go in more depth in a few minutes, but this is a 15-week um, certificate, so three courses over five weeks um, each, and we're going to be covering all sorts of topics that are preparing you to take on a Salesforce Administrator role. Um, and Angela's going to talk more about this, but we you will be using Salesforce and Trailhead as well as spreadsheets um, deeply in this certificate. The Facebook Digital Marketing Certificate is also three course course um, specific to social media marketing, which is incredibly important today. And the tools that you'll be using in that certificate range from Ads Manager to Google Analytics to Google Sheets. The two other programs that are being offered are the Asana <clears throat> Project Management Career Certificate. And so Asana is a project management software that we'll actually be showing in the demo today. But this is also a 15 week uh, three course program that's really going into depth um, on various strategies for project management, including how to effectively manage a project, how to manage risk within a project, and you're going to be Prior, the priority of the work that you'll be doing is in Asana, but you'll also be touching on spreadsheets, which is a tool that's used in project management. And finally, our Unity Immersive Design uh, program, which is actually two courses that are six weeks long. Um, and so the tools that are covered in this course are obviously Unity, but also the Oculus devices, which Shane is going to go into a little bit more depth on. Um, but this is really teaching VR applications, 3D, 3D assets and custom animations um, that is really critical in this area. So a little bit more kind of about this online experience that you would take part in. So, these programs that I just showed you, they're going to be taught on our on Passstream's custom online learning platform. Um, and you'll be able to, through that platform, practice real digital tools within your course experience. So it's not like you're going to read something and watch videos on how to use Ads Manager. You're actually be actually going to be opening up Ads Manager directly in the Passstream platform and practice using that on labs um, and in projects that you're going to submit to your instructor. So it's an incredibly real world experience that's bringing these platforms right into the classroom. And when you submit your projects, because all of our courses are project based, there are not tests that you would take to pass the certificate. Um, your instructor is providing you with personalized feedback, support on where, where you're getting stuck and really, you know, creating that more hands on opportunity for you to learn the content. And you know, all of these certificates are between two and three courses, um, and they're really meant to prepare you for a growing career. And you might be ready to transition to something new, you might be looking for a promotion, um, or you might just want to explore. But wherever you're at, these courses are meant to take you from really little to no prior experience in the subject area, all the way really to an entry level role. And after the courses, you will earn a co-branded certificate that is from USD and the technology leader from that certificate. So for example, if you're enrolled in the Salesforce program, then you're going to receive this co-branded certificate from Salesforce Trailhead and from USD. And at the end of the program, there are career services offered to you as a student at no additional cost. 
And these are really helping to connect you to employers, to help support your resume, um, and really kind of take you to whatever your, your job goal is at the end of this. So what we're going to be doing is diving a little bit more deeply um, into all of the certificates. But actually, what I want to do is kind of touch on some of these career services really quickly in a little bit more detail. So as I mentioned, I think that the career services are a really huge um, add on to this experience that you might not find in other programs. And throughout, you know, the, the courses that you take, there is curriculum built into the experience around how to update your resume or kind of like learning about the jobs that might be available to you. And you'll also, if you opt in and sign up, there are opportunities for you to get a list of open jobs um, in that field that kind of come to you each week. So you can start thinking about that. But when you get to the final course, there's a lot more personalized um, sort of opportunities to have your resume reviewed, uh, to engage in coaching calls with our coaches, um, to kind of be introduced to various employers, um, and kind of like looking at your LinkedIn and getting ready for those interviews. So that is also a part um, and embedded in all of these experiences. So let's go into each of these four certificates in a bit more depth. Um, I'm going to send it over to Angela, who has led the creation of the Salesforce Career Certificate to talk more about what that offers. Awesome. Thanks, Lauren. Um, I hope everybody can hear me OK. Um, my name is Angela. I, um, like Lauren said, I helped co-develop the um, Salesforce Administrator Career Certificate um, in collaboration with a lot of really fantastic subject matter experts. Um, so to kick things off, I just wanna give a little bit of an overview of what Salesforce is um, and what this uh, certificate really entails and what it covers. Um, so quick overview, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of what Salesforce is, um, pretty big name these days. Um, but Salesforce is essentially a customer relationship management software, um, which is used by about 150,000 businesses and organizations. Um, so really kind of prevalent, um, widely used, which means that there is quite a lot of career demand for folks that know how to use Salesforce. Um, so we've built our, part, our program in partnership with Trailhead, which is Salesforce's learning um, platform. Um, and we really are kind of intending to teach you the sort of career critical skills that are needed um, to launch a Salesforce career. Um, so if you're not familiar, uh, a CRM or customer relationship management system is essentially a platform and a database to manage all um, information related to uh, customers or, or partners that a business or organization might have. Um, and so Salesforce is this very customizable um, experience um, and, and platform that is sort of this really helpful tool um, for a lot of organizations. So our uh, certificate in particular, we, we teach a lot um, through hands-on learning. Um, so you actually really get in, get to go into Salesforce and learn how to use it both as an end user, so somebody that might be using it in your day-to-day -day job as a salesperson or as an account manager. Um, and then you'll also actually learn how to configure Salesforce. So how to customize it for people that might need to use it on um, like their day-to-day. -day. Um, and so everything's kind of real world project-based um, we put you in a lot of different business scenarios that get you kind of thinking about what it's like to be an end user or what it's like to be an administrator. Um, and so our, our courses are actually also aligned to the Salesforce Administrator um, Certification Exam, which is an official exam um, offered through Salesforce. And so while we give you kind of hands-on preparation and, and case studies and business situations that get you thinking about this, we also provide some of that exam prep um, to really get you kind of ramped up and ready to take that exam. Um, and then an additional tool that we teach is spreadsheets, because um, like Lauren said, those are kind of really important for a lot of different roles. Um, Salesforce in particular uses quite a lot um, to do with spreadsheets. So um, feel free to hop any uh, questions that you have about Salesforce particularly in the chat, um, but I'm gonna hand things over to Nina to talk to you a little bit more about the Facebook certificate. Thanks, Angela. Um, I'm Nina. I'm one of the co-creators of the Facebook Digital Marketing Certificate. Um, so excited to share with you just a few more details about how we uh, partnered with subject matter experts to develop um, a digital marketing curriculum that will help you to upskill. So, uh, you know, get to the next level in a digital marketing focused job um, or to enter the field. Um, so as a brief overview, um, our program was built in collaboration with Facebook, which is, of course, a company we're all familiar with um, and has really you know, been a force in uh, shaping what digital marketing looks like today. Um, so an important company to kind of understand the tools like 
uh, Facebook Ads Manager. Um, by collaborating with subject matter experts from Facebook and from various industries, we're really um, ensuring that what we are teaching is aligned to a career. So, you know, you're taking this course, these courses to be um, upskilling or, or getting into the field. Um, our subject matter experts have helped us to create um, courses that are really aligned. Um, as Lauren mentioned, you'll be working with tools like Google Analytics, Google Sheets, and Facebook Ads Manager. Um, and all of those are really relevant skills in the variety of digital marketing jobs that you might be looking for. Um, so the Facebook tools that, you know, Facebook Ads Manager is um, one, of the, one of the tools that you'll be working with. Um, we developed projects that are hands-on and career aligned. Um, so for the three courses that you'll be taking, just to add a little color to those projects, in the first one, you'll build a uh, marketing campaign for a real company. Um, so we've seen, um, you know, students will sometimes create a campaign for a company that they're working for. So these are really hands-on um, job-based projects. Um, you'll also, for the second course, be analyzing metrics from uh, marketing campaigns and producing reports. So again, something that you would really do as a digital marketer. And then uh, finally, in the social media marketing course, you'll be creating Facebook ads using best practices. Um, so uh, like Angela said, feel free to, to drop questions into the chat and I'll be happy to answer them. Hi, uh, I'm Naomi, and I'm going to be talking about the Asana Project Management Certificate. And um, I like to say that this certificate teaches you three things. The first is how to use Asana, the software, which I'll be talking a little bit more about. Um, the second is how to do some of these real world projects and real wor world tasks that you might be expected to do on the job as a project manager. For example, creating a schedule, or creating a project charter. And the third thing that the certificate does is it prepares you for the CAPM exam. Um, this exam is run through PMI, which is, uh, stands for Project Management Industry, and is a very well-regarded exam. Uh, and it's also an entry-level exam, so you don't need to have project management experience to take this exam. So a little bit of an overview of the certificate. Um, the the program was built with Asana, and Asana is a digital project management software. Um, it's a really fun software. I think everyone really enjoys using it. It also a, has a heavy focus on collaboration. So it's a really popular software right now, and it's used by over 50,000 uh, organizations. You can see um, in the images here, you can see a little snapshot of what it looks like inside the software. Um, and we chose to partner with Asana because, as I said, they're really popular, um, and it's a it's a growing it's a growing software, and it's it's also very popular in the project management industry, um, and it will really give you an edge in the market. Um, in addition to having the CAPM exam, um, knowing how to use the Asana software would, will definitely make you stand out in the crowd um, if you're trying to apply for project management jobs. Um, you can see in this blue bar here, uh, we are highlighting two different. Uh, software tools that you're going to be using. First is Asana, and the second is Google Sheets, which is still um, a really popular tool that project manage managers use. Um, so you'll be getting the opportunity to practice both of those tools in this course. Um, finally, also wanted to highlight that um, all the projects you're doing on this job are based on real, real world scenarios. So you can use this as a portfolio to showcase to your future employees. Um, before I hand it over to Shane, I just wanted to say one of my favorite things about project management is that um, all companies and all industries have projects. So it, it's it's such a great industry industry to get into because you can really work in all types of places. You can work in health, education, technology, even sports. Um, so that's one of my favorite things about project management. And um, as everyone else has been saying, please uh, send some questions through and I'll answer them. And I'll hand it over to Shane to talk about Unity. All right, hello, uh, I'm Shane. So I'm one of the designers of the Unity Immersive Design Certificate, which I know is a little bit of a mouthful. Um, so hopefully I can clear some of that up and what we're talking about. Um, 
So if you've never heard of Unity, um, Unity is a software sort of along the lines of like Photoshop and Premiere Pro that allows you to create 3D and 2D interactive content. So the most common use case there is that it's used to build video games, so 3D games. Um, 2D games, a lot of phone games are made with Unity. Um, but our certificate is going to focus on using it to create VR and AR applications. So um, VR and AR, of course, are sort of new technologies that are taking over the world in a lot of different areas. And Unity has become sort of the standard software that people use to create those applications. Um, so um, a little bit more about the program. Um, Although Unity is mostly used for games, um, VR and AR has, is finding a lot of applications outside of, of that industry. Um, so specifically in something like the construction ind industry, um, con construction companies are creating 3D models and renderings of the proposed building they might be working on or their construction site, and then applying that to a VR headset where they can give that experience to their client and say, do you like this? Is there anything you want to change? And they can rapidly iterate on a virtual version of the building. Um, yep. So yeah, VR is virtual reality and AR is augmented reality. Um, so virtual reality is when you put on a full headset and your entire experience is covered up. Um, and augmented reality is when you can look through a camera, like a phone, like use your phone and you can see virtual objects um, interposed on the real world. So if you've ever played like Pokemon Go, that's an augmented reality game. Um, so another application of augmented reality is you might see um, phone apps, if you're like buying furniture, where you can see the your furniture interposed in your own space before you actually buy the furniture. So you can see that in the picture there at the bottom. Um, so with the certificate, you're going to learn how to create um, virtual reality experiences without having to do any type of coding. Um, so you'll be able to use all the assets that Unity maintains and provides um, that provide all of that interactive um, experience and, and functionality for you. So you can build a 3D environment and you allow the user to move around it, either through teleporting or moving or however you want to set it up. Um, and that's the first course focuses on virtual reality. And then the second course focuses on augmented reality where you can place virtual objects on um, physical planes in the real world, just like the furniture on the floor um, and stuff like that. So you can see, you'll see a lot of different sort of opportunities for this type of skill set um, in a lot of different industries. Um, so from civil engineering, construction, to industrial design, um, to marketing. There's a lot of uh, use cases where this is useful and uh, companies are just starting to realize how useful it can be. So having these skills right now is sort of like a, a leg up in, in terms of these new jobs that are gonna be created. Um, so that's kind of all from me. I'm gonna pass it back to Laura now and she can give you a demo of the, uh-oh, <laughs> did I just lose it? There she is. All right, so I'll pass it over to Lauren and she can give a demo of the platform, hopefully. Yes, great. Um, okay, perfect. So one of the things that we like to do is show a little bit about how this platform is going to look um, when you sign up for our program. And so I'm actually gonna stop the slide presentation, which I believe I can do by pressing this button. Um, okay, great. And then I'm going to share my screen right now okay so what you should all be looking at um, is one of our project management courses and so as i scroll through this which i hope you can see it's hard for me to know if you can see if i'm scrolling but i think you can um, what you're seeing here is the whole layout of this first course so this course let's see how many sections it has i believe Yep, it has nine sections. And this is something that you would complete over a five week period enrolled in our program. Um, and these, for example, this is a, so one thing that we didn't talk about yet, but this, all of our programs are self paced, which means that within the five week period, you can choose to log in when it works for you. 
Um, however, we do want you to move on to the next course after the end of the five week period. So we want to we, we work to keep you on track with that schedule. But for example, in the first week of this program, you might be just working on the, this first section here and then this second section here. So you would be told kind of what is it that's going to keep you on track for the program in terms of what sections to focus on. So when you come in here, you'll see that this this section three, for example, has various lessons within it. And if you go into one of them, you know, you'll you'll see the various sub lessons. You'll see the amount of time. That's the estimated time that we think that this lesson will take you. Um, and if you click into one of them, one of these lessons, just make sure you can see that. Great. Um, you're seeing some standard lesson content here. So you'll be reading through things. There'll be images and visuals that are helping to kind of prepare you to enter into the Asana environment, which you will do in this lesson. Um, there'll be images that you can copy and paste and, and take screenshots of that are helping to visually organize the information that you're learning. And there, you know, after a little bit of text and information, there's almost always a little quiz here that is not graded, but is really here to help you to assess whether you actually understood the material that was presented. And so you'll be able to submit your answer. You'll be able to see kind of a model answer, depending on how you do, um, and really help to make the learning a little bit more active, a little bit more engaging, and really helping you assess how you're doing through this experience. So we also have short videos, um, but this is not a predominantly video experience. Those are used as ways to kind of break up the content and give you different means and ways of understanding the material. Um, and then when you get to the bottom of the lesson in this one, there is what we call a lab environment. And so I will get there in just a second. Um, so here's what we've hit a lab here and I'm going to show you when you click this button launch lab what your screen will look like. So I'm going to do a new share here. I'll show you that lab environment. So when you click that button um, launch lab what you're going to see is what's called the path stream lab environment. And so just wanting to orient you here to what what you're seeing. So this is going to pop up. And what's happening on the right hand side of the screen is um, Asana. So this is your own logged in instance of Asana. Um, and here you're, you can click around, you can move around based on um, the instructions, which are on the left hand side of the screen. So imagine, you know, this is, a, this is what we call the lab environment where you're coming in, you have a task, right? In this task, you're just exploring and you're familiarizing yourself with Asana, but there are really specific instructions here, finding your username, exploring by creating a new project, adding tasks to a project. And so all of that you're doing here on the right-hand side of the screen. Um, and, you're, and you're following the instructions and clicking through here on the left-hand side of the screen. And so this is this is one of the primary ways that you're going to learn um, this, the various digital skills in this curriculum. Um, and what's happened here is on the right side, there's going to be things like Facebook Ads Manager. Um, there might be Unity. So it's really dependent on whichever program you're enrolled in. But this is one of the ways that you'll learn in this experience. So I'm going to stop kind of screen sharing for a moment. Um, we have a couple of more slides to go through, and I hope your, your questions keep coming in. Um, so I'm going to start that presentation again. But a couple of more sort of common FAQs that come up that I want to run through before we kind of turn it over to any questions you may have. But, you know, the total cost of these programs is $24.99 for all of the three courses um, or the two courses for Unity in the experience. And you can pay in full for a $100 discount or pay using a three or six month installment plan. Um, this is also a great opportunity to check with your employer um, to see if they can reimburse a portion or the entire cost of the program because some employers have um, reimbursement options for education. Um, I mentioned this um, I mentioned this previously, but our programs are really designed for full time working adults. Um, and so this is not the type of experience where you have to quit your job or have expansive amounts of time to spend on this program. You know, we really expect students to commit about 10 to 15 hours per week going through the certificate. And you might, you know, if you're already somewhat experienced in this content, you might take less. 
or if this is completely absolutely brand new to you it might take you a little bit more um, but the goal is that you're able to fit this in on your schedule um, with a full-time job or a part-time job or responsibilities with your family um, and as I mentioned, these programs are self-paced. So within the five week period for the course, you can log in and navigate the content the way that you see fit. However, we do try to help you to stay on track though. So we will be telling you, you know, this is the section that you should be in, this is what you should be doing. But you, if you wanna log in on Tuesday and get all of your work done, that is up to you. Um, there are no prerequisites for these programs. So we don't require that you have any prior knowledge in Salesforce, for example, to enter this program. Um, but we do ask that you have a high school degree or an equivalent. So I wanted to share some final kind of testimonials. So these are quotes from past Dream, former current past Dream students about their experience in the program. So some of the things that are coming up are the labs environment, which I just showed you. Um, we're really detailing out the instructions on the left-hand side and the tool is on the right-hand side. Um, and kind of the ability to test your knowledge consistently with those knowledge checks or those little quizzes that we showed you. Um, and, the, and the information really being broken down into smaller pieces is something that we hear a lot from students. So I'll let you just read that for a second. Samantha, we, or I'm sorry, uh, Lauren, we did have a question in the room about yeah. access to the instructors while they're in the class for the five weeks. Is it structured mm -hmm. or is it, are they able to gain, gain access whenever they need to? Um, yeah. yeah, that's a great question. Um, so when you're in sort of the in-program experience, your instructor is available for questions that they have that you have similar to kind of like a, an experience at an institution or university in college, right, in undergrad. They're available to you for questions that come up. Um, they have their own schedule, so they're gonna suggest times that work for them, but there might be off opportunities for office hours where you can ask questions of your instructor. Um, they're also providing you a lot of written feedback throughout the experience. But yes, the instructor is there to support you. Um, the career coach, which is um, a part of, of this experience that we mentioned, is more going to be available to you towards the end of the experience. They're going to be getting into in touch with you as you're successfully completing the courses um, towards a third course and really engaging with you um, at that point in the experience. So we're really happy to take other questions. These can be specific questions to the certificates like Salesforce or Asana, um, or they can be broader questions about the, the programs as a whole. So please um, add your questions. We are here to answer them. Lauren, I don't have any outstanding questions. Um, you did a good job of answering them as the presenters were speaking. Um, that was just the last one that I saw in there. Okay. One of the things that um, I want to make sure kind of is, is understood by all the participants is the alignment um, with our Asana program and our Salesforce program with those industry exams that we mentioned. So the Salesforce exam, the Salesforce program, for example, is really um, helping you to prepare for the Salesforce administrator exam, which is a separate exam that is offered by Salesforce. Um, and that is something that provides additional industry relevance um, to you and your job search. So when you take our program in Asana or in Salesforce, you're also supporting the test preparation that you'll need to take the industry exam that's aligned with those two, two certificates. And so for Salesforce, it's the uh, administrator exam. And for Asana, it's the CAPM exam, which is another industry exam that's very relevant for project managers. Uh, Lauren, there was a question that came in about um, taking one course or a single course, or they have to take the entire certificate. Yeah, it's a good question. Um, right now, there is only the option to take the three courses in the certificate as a bundle. Andy, do you want to take the questions about um, being a registered USD student and any options to kind of like replay the meeting if people have missed it or come in part way? Yeah. So. Um Technically, you're not registered as a USD student. However, the certificate will come from USD. 
Um, and it, as they mentioned in the very beginning, that it will be um, the cer certificate will be signed by USD and the technology partner, but you're not technically registered at USD. Um, and yes, I am, I am uh, attempting to um, have a link sent out to everyone that joined today um, of, of the recording in case they need to go back for anything. Great. And Andy, are there any scholarships available through USD? Uh, not, no, not at this time. We don't have any scholarships available yet. Any final questions that we can support you in? Um, I'm sure that there's an, the option to kind of email somebody later, but while we're here, I'm happy that we're happy to answer anything else that's coming up. So Deborah, just to clarify, um, the three courses, they are five weeks each. So with the exception of Unity, the certificates are 15 weeks total. Great. Anything else we should cover, Andy, before we sign off? Uh, no, I just thought there was some contact. Oh, yeah, this I didn't want to advance it until you were ready, but I want to make sure that they were oh, yeah. the start dates. Yeah. Um, so just to answer the question from Amos in the chat, um, the three courses that are in the Asana Project Management Certificate, um, they are going to help you to study and prepare for the CAPM exam, but you're going to have to register and sign up for that exam separately. We are not associated with PMI or the CAPM exam providers. Um, and is this a project management pertaining to Asana or PMI? Um, I think that I might have answered that, but we are not associated with PMI. So we are aligned, our content is aligned with PMI content. And so you'd be prepared to take that CAPM exam, but we are not, um, we, we don't have a relationship with, with PMI. Um, and I'm not sure how our courses compare to the UCI one. So I don't think I can answer that, Deborah, um, unfortunately. So just to kind of conclude, you know, these certificates, as I mentioned, they're starting um, on January 25th or the 26th. There are two different start dates, but um, these four programs are starting at that point. And so this is a really great time to kind of think about this um, and really see whether this is aligned with some of your career goals. But all four of these programs are starting in a couple of weeks. Um, and here's an email address. You can take a screenshot of it or write it down um, with any additional questions that come up. Um, with regards to the information that was presented today. And Lauren, also too, if they wanted to go back and review anything, I put our mm -hmm. um, website address up there. So if they go into pce.sandiego.edu and then click the digital skills tile, it has all of this information on the website as well. Great. Um, and just to, to continue to answer some of the questions, yeah. um, you know, this course, when, when we say on demand, um, I want to clarify that we we use kind of the term self-paced, which means that, you know, any time within the 15 weeks of these programs, you can log in and make progress in the course. Um, but, you know, we do really want you to stay on pace with the experience. So if you don't do any work for the first 10 weeks and then try to cram it into the last five weeks, that's not really going to be a very good experience for you as a student. So we recommend that you consistently log in. Um, but, you know, after those 15 weeks of the program, you'll have a, a period where you'll have access to the content um, after that. But then, you know, you're you're sort of no longer a student after that, you know, 15 to 18 week period. Um, and yes, if you want to finish early, you are welcome to move ahead in the course and we could potentially grant you access to the next course if you're moving at a really fast pace. Um, and I would recommend spending 10 to 15 hours a week on this experience so that you are really staying on track um, so that you can finish within the 15 week period. We can definitely move ahead. Um, we would also provide it um, short extensions if you fall behind and you need to, um, you know, sort of extend your course experience.
All right. Well, we certainly appreciate um, all these questions and we hope that you will reach out to us if anything else comes up. But we hope to see you in one of the past stream programs, past stream USD programs um, at the end of the month. Sounds good. Thank you, everyone. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day.